Hi, I'm Jen Burns and I have the pleasure of creating the Ultimate Page Kit in the Art Options Rouge collection for us. The kit actually comes packaged in this beautiful plastic cover with 49 market on it, of course. It has these super cute little bows and clips inside. It has all of the beautiful pages. These are the layouts that we're going to create today. On the back is a fussy cut sheet. Then each page has a copy of the finished layout that we're going to do so that you can actually place your elements straight on top to create the layout. Or on the back is a starting point of the beautiful background paper, which is what we're going to do today. I'm use this side layout. That's the background paper there. So for instance, this little cluster at the top here, that's already printed on the back here, but then we're going to layer the butterfly, the flower, etc. And this will be all the layer. Okay. It also comes with five laser cut sheets. I've actually started to pop mine out, so all I can show you is the wastage. Plus this gorgeous chipboard sheet, like a thin printed chipboard. And all of the laser cut sheets and the chipboard sheet are packed full. So like Janine and Katie don't muck around with space, they actually fully fill the space. So there will be some things left over. And in the instructions that have been done, there are also some tips on how to make like one piece into two pieces so that you have an extra piece to add as well. So you will have leftover pieces. Don't think that you've done anything wrong. So I'm going to finish popping out my laser cuts and my chipboard. Also in the instructions are which pieces you need from the laser cuts and the chipboard pieces. So I'm actually going to set these out like this as well in the video. So it's easier to follow along with. See you soon. Okay, I have gathered the tools required. Some of these are just optional extras if, the, if you would like to like ink your edges on round things. I've chosen worn lipstick and peeled paint because of the pink and the green. Also, I like using gathered twig. You will definitely need tape and or glue, some foam tape if you wish, craft knife, scissors and a sanding block. Layout number one, you need this sheet. These chipboard pieces and these laser cut pieces. Also you will require three three by four photos and two two by two, which you cut down to pop behind these ones. So I've left it like this so that later on I can actually pop a photo in there. With the chipboard frames, you don't put anything in the green frame. So I've left this again so that I can pop something oops, in between there. So the green frame is going to be like this and covered over with the two Polaroid frames. Let's get started. The first piece will be this lovely stripe and if you check on the back it actually fits inside this frame here. So that is the first placement of our first piece. Pop on there. This glue tape on that is awesome. It's a bit from Janine, so Janine, I'm using it. Okay, pop that inside there. And then you need one of the green pieces. As it says in the um, tips on here, this is one of the ones that you can actually just cut in half, use the top and the bottom. So we have two pieces which normally we would use the top of that one and the bottom of this one, but I'm just going to slice that in half. And this piece we can put aside and use in another layer. Roughly 
the yarn. And of course this bottom piece will line up down here. Oh, I knew it. Tape runner ran out. I'm just gonna go and change the tape. I'm really glad to know that that wasn't in live time because I really ended up changing the tape runner. So plan B, smaller tape runners. Next we need to do is add this little lace piece to the back of, oops, sorry, the XO, Hugs Kisses, Hugs Kisses. We had a little bit hanging out. So let's flip that over <laughs> and I'll just use a tiny bit of wet glue on here. Maybe, don't you just love that absolute intricate lace? All of the laser cuts are so beautiful. So we're just gonna pop that on the back with a little bit sticking out over there. If you like, you can actually keep changing this over, having a look, see if mine comes out a little bit further. I can either change that while it's wet or just leave it as it is, which I'm just gonna leave it. And that bit gets popped down here so we can see this green piece. Next is this lovely long piece with the notches cut out. So again, just a bit of that. piece goes all the way to the top. Okay, after that layering, oops, see how that's come out a little bit, I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue under here. Maybe. Next we have the lovely piece and I think I want to give this piece a little bit of colour. So I'm just going to go around the edge. Oops. Of course you don't have to. Also one of the things that you could do to add to the layer is um, put foam tape in between your layers if you wanted to. So lovely moments. And the second black lace strip. So that goes above this piece here. So we do the same as before, flip it over. A little bit of wet glue. we've done that piece we can pop that down on here okay so we've got to this part here now we're going to actually add the chipboard pieces starting with the two green leaves and again I think I might just add a bit of green to the edges and then that <laughs> my dog so I'm just gonna go quickly around the edges it doesn't have to be perfect just gets rid of a little bit of that white such and I'm just going to ink this piece as well. The dog was barking at the mailman to bring something for my husband. 
So he was a good boy and doing his job. Okay, I think that's bad enough. This comes up and over. This one kind of connects there. Mm, yeah, I do. And I love that this has got an adhesive back. She says. Pop that around about there. This one, I've already taken some of the back off. So, because I have, I'm just going to add a tiny bit of glue. If you take it off and put it, lay it straight down, you won't have to do that. And that bit goes approximately there. Plus now we need the wild and free tab. Oops. Go back to my little bits. Wild and free which we're just going to pop up here. This little tab here and the green one, which will pop out here. Now we're going to grab the chipboard frames, which I popped my pretend photos behind. I want the lovely to show. And remember that the green one doesn't have anything behind it, as in a photo behind it. And this one, because it's got the actual adhesive on the back, I'm going to use that piece and stick that one down there. Make sure that the tickets can see, you can see the tickets outside. Okay, then I'm going to layer my two photos like this. And I'm just going to flip them over on the back and like this so that they are together and so I can still get my two photos in there Some bobs. This gorgeous butterfly down here. I've used the chipboard butterfly. Along with love grows here. Now you can actually shape that. Just used a bone folder in my hand, of course. actually looks like a wavy piece so I would only actually just glue it in this little bit here oops love grows here the little 
hello goes in the middle here and I think I might put a bit of color on that as well Just finishing touches. So this chipboard piece with the nice cross stitch on it. Oh, actually, that is chipboard, and has a piece on the back. doing that don't I? Chipboard has a sticky back already. What you can actually do with the chipboard as well is with your if I can find mine just sand them a little bit and that'll give them that shabby type of look. Between here is going to be one of these gorgeous little buttons with the string attached. Like, how super cute is that? Oops. I'm going to move over to here and go take the backing off that. Pop this love heart down. chipboard button on top here. How beautifully is this coming together? I'm so excited. Take this little chipboard button. Lay it over here. So this has got the XOXOXO on it, but to make it a little bit more raised, we're going to use this piece here, the chipboard piece. Adds just a little bit more dimension. If you don't want to use this, you can actually put it aside and use it on a different layer. Super cute details are the little hinges at the top here. Like, how cute are these? The tiniest, tiniest laser cuts. Which, as you know, are just amazing. And five sheets in this pack is just gorgeous. One there, whoops, and some um, photo corners, which we're going to add now. Oops. This photo, this photo corner should have gone under here. Okay, and this should be up a little bit further if you go by the instructions however I like that um, my photo will actually come down to here that's why I put it down a little bit further so this photo corner I'm actually just going to pop aside and I'm going to use it somewhere else 
same with the photo corner that is down here in the green corner. This one would have been way under here. I'm actually going to pop that aside and use that somewhere else. Awesome. A little more wet blue. bow along with the clip which you actually clip onto this green frame in the middle here oops is layer number one finished. Now we can move on to layout number two. I'm just going to go and do exactly the same thing. Get my um, laser cuts and my chipboard separated, ready in pieces, ready to go. And we're back with layout number two. This is the sheet that you need. The chipboard with photos that will fit behind your frame. I've actually left mine so that I can pop some in again. And laser cuts. What I did with the laser cuts was just actually have a look on here, see what I kind of needed. One of those, the frame, which is over here. Floor. Now there are two pieces of this, of the um, postage stamps, obviously one goes here, one goes here, but look, saving some for later, we're just going to put half there and half there. Okay, let's start. I love all these paint splotches, Katie has actually designed um, some rub ones as well which are just like this. Then cut them up, put them at an edge here, an edge here. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to start with placing the diagonal around about here. And again, if you wanted to add ink to ink your edges, go ahead and add ink. So put that there. You can actually do each one in layers, but I'm going to do this one, then this one, this one, this one, etc. Okay, this one. I'm going to actually make it pop a little bit above my frame because I think that's a stupid thing. I'm going to get in down here, make sure that it's roughly even, just eyeball it, don't have to measure it. This tag is going to stick out from the top of this frame, which we're going to move over here, so roughly about there. Just eyeball that bit again. Mm, roughly about there. Then I've got these gorgeous, beautiful laser cuts. They're so fine and delicate. I was just seeing, oh, that's a bit crooked. Can't have that. That's better. I was actually seeing if there was any that I could cut off the bottom here and like stick up here, but nah, not worth it really. We'll just put 
make sure. Just add a little bit of wet glue. Pop that underneath here. Sticking out. Okay, next piece is my photo frame. Okay, then I have my butterfly. So I'm actually going to shape the butterfly. Oops. Again, using my trusty hand and a bone folder. However, you do have this is just one of those little matte things you can use that or a pen or anything that will shape your butterfly and make it look like it's actually flying right. just another little piece of wet glue here now underneath these sections here this is a great tip from one of the girls. You can use a piece of the chipboard leftovers. If I can find my scissors, that would be awesome. Okay, so you can just pop a little bit. Underneath the wings. So, oops, probably a bit too long that bit. Just to give them some stability. And of course, because it's a chipboard off cut, it's got the um, sticky already on the back. And there we go, a little bit of dimension to the butterfly. chippy flower on the corner here and guess what that is that section done so now we're going to move over to this part and we gather these so this will be the base <gasps> how beautiful are the photo wraps this is sticking out under here, so that's our bottom layer. So I'm just going to pop that down. Over here. And, oh, and look, I did it crooked again. Kind of like if it's not crooked, I didn't do it. Okay. There. And the next piece is this beautiful piece. And you know what? I think I might add a bit of ink to this piece. Just the beautiful green. So I want my, oops, roughly there. Let's see if I can get this piece straight. Lose that. I'm actually going to stick that on to the back right now. Glue. I know my 
myself from losing bits and pieces. foliage to pop under here and see now is where I'm actually going to cut off this little bit here pop that bit there as well this piece down first again using that as a where to how to kind of thing and then these little pieces that I cut off I'm going to pop them down here or up here I should say This bit coming out of here. There's no point in wasting some of the leaves that are, you're not going to see. Okay. And I'm get my chipboard piece. Remember that it's got the backing. Kiss, kiss, hug, kiss, hug. And then my frame. Oh, you know what I did forget to do? Which we just spoke about was this beautiful photo wrap. So I'm just going to put a few little bits of wet glue on the edges there. And pop that down. Pop it underneath there. And over the kiss hug. Like. Oops. There we go. And we've got this little forevermore label, which I don't really like. See that little white edge there? It's not really that fond of that, so I'm going to trim that off. And I want that to sit up a little bit, so I'm going to again use the chipboard cut off pieces. Just going to do the same with this mop, which is oops, shape it a bit, make the wings stick up. down 
and then that is our second section done. Now I'm just going to push this up a little bit so you can see me working on this part here. And that is with some of these bits. How gorgeous is that? Okay, so this piece is our bottom piece and it has like don't you love these splashes as well? Like the colour swatches. So I'm going to roughly go into, I should say, not gonna. How's that for a lot us Australians? We Australians always shorten things. Shorten things if your name is long or lengthen things if your name's short. I had a friend named Mark, we used to call him Marcus for some unknown reason. And Dave, of course, and Davo. Okay. Because there's only going to be this section here that you see after we've popped this piece on and these other pieces on. Oh, I've got to put a photo map behind here. Oh, no, I haven't because... So this is the chipboard piece. Sorry, this is the laser cut piece. This is the chipboard piece. So I'm going to save this, going to save this for another layer and use the chipboard piece. I'm actually also going to cut this off here. So I can use that in a different layout. Too pretty to waste. And now I can just pop that underneath there such and we'll put all of that down around the edge there and I'm actually going to sand it a little bit just to add a bit of make it look a bit older a little bit more shaggy those two leaves as well. I'm going to cut them down here and shape these a little bit, just a little bit. A bit of green ink. Just remember that inking and the shaping etc is all optional. Like you can just make it um, quite flat as well. And 
these two extra leaves that I cut off. I'm actually going to pop, trim them yet again. Ink them a bit. And slide these. These would have to be, besides the lace pieces, these would have to be one of my favourites because I just absolutely love that the string is included. And popping that down there, and then that's this side done as well. Oh, maybe a bit too much glue. So I can still pop a photo in there. I'm just going to lift that up just to make sure that I can slide a photo in there. Okay, that's the third quarter done. Now onto this piece, which is the opposite diagonal. Do I want to keep it so that it is like this, or do I want to move it so it's different? Hmm. I think I might keep it the same. some greenery put that piece down first let's see how fine and beautiful they are if that if that snapped off that's fine actually I'm going to snap it off and show you like such just say so that snapped off. And I'm going to pop that bit there. And then this bit where it snapped, just line it up. And there we go. Then I'm going to put my moth, butterf my butterfly, moth. Try butterfly, Jen. Underneath in this section. Sometimes you need three or four hands, really. Move it. Okay, that is mine. Oh, see, I forgot to add this piece. That's fine. Just no, that is stuck down. So what I can do is just trim that off halfway. 
because there are no mistakes in scrapbooking. It's just learnt errors. This piece I'm going to put away for another layer. This piece I'm going to ink just so that it blends in a bit. Pop this under here. Push it in as far as I can. However, I don't care that it actually is going to be un on the outside of this frame. And pop my little plate under there. Okay. If you don't like, see that little bit there, if you don't like that, just pop one of the leaves over the top. Well, I'm going to pop one of these at the top. You perhaps will put this in properly and it'll be fine. Okay. On this corner goes the cutest little bow and clip, which I'm going to put on here first before I adhere the frame down. Finishing touches with a love heart. Maybe flower. And another one of these cutest buttons. And then we have finished layer number two. To layout number three, which is this one. These are my laser cut pieces, my chipboard pieces. First thing I'm going to do is make sure that these two pieces are roughly adhered like such. And I'm just going to add a little piece of normal sticky tape on the back. Just to keep that bit like such. Seems a shame to cover up this beautiful pattern designed by Katie. So this is roughly going to go here. Tickets, long tickets. So this one's going to stick out roughly to about here. And this one further out to about here. So what we can do again is cut off this section, keep this piece for another layer. and then pop this right at the end here. Also, with the red sections which go underneath, you can do exactly the same thing. Cut it in half, which means that this piece can go aside and out as well. So I'm gonna just pop a bit of Too much glue. Hello. Pop that bit under there. Okay. And place this piece under here. Just make sure they roughly line up. Here. Then 
I'm just going to open and stick these bit. No, first of all, I'm going to stick this piece to this piece. Actually, I'm going to wrap this up a bit with my shabby. I love how all the laser cuts are just so realistic. Now, this, I'm actually going to do the same as what I did before and then get rid of some of that white edge by just adding a bit of green. Oops. So the Rouge collection not only has this beautiful kit, but has another collection kit, a 6x8 pack, beautiful rub-ons, more laser cuts, ephemera, washi tape, fabric tape, you name it, there's everything you can think of. Okay, I'm going to use this piece now as a guide. So this piece here, so there's no photo in this one because that is the photo is going to be in this one. So that's actually going to sit across there. So I could do what I did before and actually trim off that bit. Whoops. of course because now I've mucked around with it.
Things you learn, isn't it? Put a little on your ink. Mm, pop that one mm, under there. Only um, adhered the bottom part so that I can again put my photo in. section. Okay. I'm actually going to glue down this section. Make sure I can get that photo in there. I'm missing a tag. Here we go. A, um, put that on the bottom there. So it's just peeking out the top. I've got chipboard here and then ephemera here this is going to be on a little bit of an angle so I'm actually going to add a little bit of um, this is chipboard waste like obviously I've popped the butterflies out from underneath of it so I'm going to add that little bit under here And that will just give it that flat surface. So it's not a little bit raised here and then going down to flat, flat. And I'll put a bit of glue on there. There we go. So now that is even. Pop this photo on here. I'm glad I'm actually making a mistake so that you can see. Uh, I'm just going to add, so it's actually leaning on this leaf. I'm going to pop that in there as well. And now it's even. That's better. I'm going to add here this piece on. Now, if 
you didn't want to use this piece, you could actually use one of these ribbons like we have in the other class, in the other on the other pages. What I'm trying to say. Butterfly with the white edges. I'm actually going to do that. Just pick them up a little bit. And I'm just going to add a little bit around the postage stamp just so that you can see those gorgeous postage stamp edges. onto this piece here. But before I do that, I'm going to make this bit with a little bit of dimension. Okay, so all I'm gluing for this bit is around this section. And when I put the photo in, I will put more glue underneath. And adhere the whole thing. Okay. Go over more, goes on there. Oh, see, I've seen one of those um, tabs that I've left in. again lace thread is what I'm trying to think of and then guess what finished layout number three all done ready to start layout number four welcome to layout number four while I was getting the pieces together, these uh, the chipboard pieces and those and the laser cuts, I came across this little piece, which was actually meant to be in our last layout. But as you can tell, it didn't really matter because we didn't use it. So I'm going to pop it aside and use it on a different another layout. Okay. We have a look on this side first. We have this piece, this beautiful doily is going to go here. So you can just do the normal tape. Just pop that there. This is just for measuring purposes, obviously. That bit there, that bit there. This piece is going to go on here. And the with our photo in it. It's going to go over the top here, but we're not going to adhere this yet. And the frame goes there. Okay. So we've measured the major parts. Now can flip open. And as you can see, it comes out roughly here. Perfect. To adhere. detail in that 
I know I keep saying that, but it's just beautiful. doesn't need a photo in it because it's just as a frame not as an actual photo this is the piece that has the photo in it which I've again tried to make sure that I can slip one in there now I don't know if you thought the same thing when you were pushing out your laser cuts and you came across this because I was thinking what on earth is this well how genius it is to hang your frame by I just love it it's perfect so I'm going to put love this and the frame hanger on oops. This would be one of my most favourite pieces, I reckon. Well, besides the lace and the doily and everything else. Oh, sorry. No, you can't see down there. Adding that to that piece. And look, voila. How awesome is that? Okay, but... Before I adhere that piece down, this beautiful lace goes across the bottom here, underneath. Have you ever? It looks like actual fabric. I am doing it on this piece, aren't I? And then give it a little bit of a sand. Shabby it up a bit. head up to this little set, um, cluster up here. So we have a butterfly, which I'm going to add dim dimension to. And if you remember in the other layouts, we added pieces of chipboard at the back there. Thread. Okay. Now back down to this part. So the top bit's done. This 
this has a tip hanging out the bottom and the ticket up the top here but again I think we can just do without this ticket and use it for another layout later. So if we use the other ticket, it would have just been hidden underneath here. But I'm going to pop this down because now I don't need to actually add anything underneath it again. does glue down if, you, if you're not using photos and you're using white mats like I am you can actually just make sure that the photo fits right into the frame there it doesn't have to go underneath it just looks neater if it is underneath today. Now there was a um, laser cut bow but I've swapped that out for one of the real bows and I want to really keep that so I want this to come down to roughly down here. pieces that come with the kits, same as the embellishment kits, oh my goodness. Best ever, I'm actually going to put a little bit of ink around the edge. Great, wouldn't that just pull one of the wings off? When I finish this one, when we finish this one. I will actually go and um, 
show you how much laser cuts and stuff that I have left. So I love this. So when you finish these, and I've shown you what's left, you can actually go back and keep adding some of the leftover pieces. Or get some of the rub-ons, the rouge rub-ons, add some rub-ons, add some washi tape. successfully completed the kit. Layout four, layout three, layout two, and layout one. Okay, I'll be back in a moment. I will show you how much laser cuts and chipboard I have left. And of course, on the back of the cover, no wastage there's all these fussy cut sheets that you can cut out you can use them like remnants and have them layered on top of each other add some fussy cuts add some photos and you've got a fifth layer i really hope that you've enjoyed making the kit remember that you can do um, what we call level up so you could add some of the six by eight rub-ons around the edges of the pages so i'm just going to grab this one some of the 12 by 12 rub-on sheets. I can imagine cutting that in half and having half up here, half down here. Add some bigger titles onto your pages. Or like I said before, the six by eights where you can actually just add little bits and pieces. Add some more uh, foliage coming out of here. Add some sewing around the edge. Anything is possible. Hope you've enjoyed making your kits.